Watch your face. Yeah. Let's just run down and get a car. Yeah, we're gonna get the car. Hey guys, how's it going? I am driving to a very cool spot today. I just got off work. I work for NASCAR now, and I'm building some very sweet cars. There's like 11 of them, and just building, building, building. A lot of fun, new experience. I really enjoy the whole new V8 type of deal and everything, which is awesome too. And it's funny I say V8 because I am going to pick up a car, which is mine, and I have owned it since I was 17 years old. And you have never seen it. A little backlog on this car is I bought it when I was 17, and me and my dad had no idea how to build a car, and we decided we wanted to learn and try and do that. So what we did is me, my dad, and my uncle, my uncle did the transmission and engine. I helped him, but like obviously I was 17 and I didn't know, so he kind of showed me a little bit. I didn't do much on it, but like I, I torqued the heads down type of deal. Built it with him a little bit, my dad had no idea what was going on and neither did I, but we went at it, bought a little welder and went to, went to town. The floors were gone, the trunk was gone, like everything was rotten. It had an engine in it that didn't run. So basically it was a full resto that needed done. I haven't even told you what car it is, what year, what make, nothing. I'm gonna show you, it's badass. It's a whole different world from what I'm used to now. To basically get a backlog on this car, it, caught on fire on me after I built it. it. was super unreliable and everything was super janky because it was the first car I've ever built and it was just a learning curve and everything else. And I actually converted it to standard. It was an automatic vehicle and I'm not about the auto life. I'm gonna show you my creation. The reason I'm building a shop is because I got a job working for NASCAR and me and my dad actually parted ways. So he's selling a shop I had my cars at his shop. I had like a little one bay garage door um, type of deal. Like you've seen in all my videos. That was my dad's shop and he's selling it. So that's why I'm getting a shop built at my house that I'm doing. So I didn't have enough time to fix all the stupid odds and ends. Like little wiring problems, getting the starter changed, this and that. And I also didn't have room for it. So I actually sent it to my buddy and I said, Bubs, can you please, 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 please help a brother out and get this car driving. Straighten the tires out, put a starter in it, fix the back suspension. There was a whole bunch of little janky stuff I did. So now it's all fixed. I'm going to pick it up, I'm going to see Bubs. I'm going to get the car. And you've never seen it before because it hasn't ran since I was 22. When I bought my house, I got it running again and the plan was to drive it to the new shop, which was my dad's that he owned, right? But it didn't end up happening because I went to start it and the starter went because like I literally spent like a month getting it ready for the move and literally the day we were moving I went to start it and the starter went so I towed it and I got discouraged again because they're a pain you literally have to pull the tranny out to do the freaking um, starter or pull the headers off which is a nightmare so I don't like working on them so I just said bubs fix this thing for me I'll pay you we need to get it done. Either I'm gonna sell it or I'm gonna drive it. I don't think my girlfriend will let me sell it, but I'm gonna make the decision on my own because like honestly, she loves it. She hasn't even seen it before. She's just seen pictures. I'm pulling into Bub's shop right now and I'm excited. What? Transmission. I just did the transmission oil and it's leaking up the top. Like bad? Well, like to do that back where that silicone was, you have to rebuild the whole thing. The whole main shaft has to come out. 
So I didn't do that. So it was, it's been a little low since I started. So I just changed the oil, put fresh oil in. Now it's right up to the fill. And it's leaking right up at this top bolt. I'm dripping down. Oh my God. So literally roll in and get the bad news instantly. <laughs> what a unit. So as you can see, it's just a, just a disaster. It wasn't built right. It was just two, two beginners at it and it, it just wasn't gonna do it <sighs> it's got some power steering only m minimal play in there <laughs> <laughs> so she's a 383 and she's probably about 450 wheel i would say at least what do you say i don't know I don't did you know. rip it at all not hard like, i haven't launched her you haven't you floored it uh, not to the point where, no, I wouldn't say, like I haven't poured it and held it. Huh. Well, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you would. I'm gonna. Oh man, those are huge. That's a huge carb. This thing should really rip. And no, uh, choke or anything either. That, the, I don't know. I've never asked if the NASCAR is run, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty well the same. Yeah. That's a big carb. Yeah, setup. I think that's it's an 850. 850 yeah. yeah. Holy cowsers. Like, this was, like, their original dream. 
give you alignment, right? I don't know if you can do one, but... Man, these are death wagons. <laughs> Oh, we blew the alternator belt too. Oh, oh, we better get back.
start on 10 volts. Oh boy. Paramedic. Paramedic? I'm, I'm coming back. Yeah, roll back as far as you can. This thing is. <laughs> Watch out, there's a Yeah, I can see him. I'll, I'll parallel it. At least we can walk from here to get the The paramedic? <laughs> Oh man. It's insured, I promise you. Oh. Watch your face. Yeah. Let's just run down and get a car. Yeah, we're gonna get food in the car. Well, the power steering was good. My belt didn't blow off. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, you definitely got a little harder than I did. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a good thing you didn't rip it. Oh, jeez. Warm? Watch yourself. Yeah, oh, she's pretty... I could squeeze the hose, so... Oh, it's still half full. I don't know if I'll have enough to do. Right full, but... Jeez. Are you trying to cap too? Yep. Got the breather all hooked up, the crankcase breather and shit too. So. Oh, it breathes back into the carb? Yeah. Huh. Fuel economy. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. It's blown the lines before too. Oh, yeah. <sighs> just from smoking just... hot, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure your cooling line system is a little better. Yeah, I did the bottom line the best I could. There's a little noise on the way back. And the water pump just kind of quit. Yeah, I think she's in. That's a huge water pump, too. So this is why I went import. <laughs> to break everything again in a different chassis, <laughs> I guess. Get away from that. What, breaking everything? <laughs> No. <laughs> so are you just going to spin it by hand? Like, I remember specifically that these bolts, yeah. the heads, would rub against there. Oh. I don't I don't know if that's it from being so hot. Yeah, that's what, yeah. That is what it is. Yeah. It doesn't really spin good, eh? Well, it's because it's hitting those bolts. And then behind it is washers. Where In this behind is, these? Yep. Yeah. You'd have to shave the aluminum a little bit on the inside. Some must get so hot. Oh, I don't know. I've never had to hit those before. It's hot, so maybe. Just when it's hot, it does it. Maybe. I mean, we can. I wonder if those bolts are loose. No, like the inside ones there. Mm -hmm. Oh, look how much it binds there, eh? Yeah. But if you spin it, it almost looks like it's warm. Well, like I said, there's there's literally washers behind here. I remember that because oh, okay. that we we did that so it would clear. You might have to shave that inside a little bit. Yeah, we could probably. And if that is warp, that could be that. And this is being why a it's blowing belts and a ten mil meant for a ten mil belt. I guess I can look for a, the proper pulley. This car never fails. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll be able to. We'll let it cool down and see if that's still smashing. And then, uh, yeah, like if you just cruise like your average person. Yeah. <laughs> I will, I promise. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna see if I can get it back to the shop without blowing the belt. We'll see. Just rep packs her like a god. It's almost like I own this thing. So far, temps are low and the vibes are high. <laughs> I haven't really shown you the outside of this thing yet, but I will. Break 
take all the downs. <laughs> As you can see, there's four bucket seats in here. This is the bus. This is the bus. Did I throw the bell? Yeah, I think the bell <laughs> No? No, the bell didn't go. It did get hot though, it got to like 330. Did it? It's at like 200. Yeah. Two reps? That's a nice down. Not bad. It was controllable too. Was it? It was like, oh yeah, it feels like I'm in my MX3. Yeah, like real bad, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if RTV would fix that. So where's the temp sensor? Okay. This is pretty good. That's pretty good. Wait. Right. It did a brake stand. Oh, you ran out of fuel. You got no fuel pressure. That's why it died. Ah. <laughs> what a buzz kill. That was probably good enough. Welcome to American Muscle. What? Ah. In the cooler. In the heat. She's getting crusty. Cool. Well, that's good. 
She made her back though. For the bench to actually work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd probably be good, right? That'd probably be really good, yeah. Cold air intake? It'd be fucking cold air at the top. Cold air intake. Yeah, it's not even. I would fucking do it. Man, it's aluminum hot. rads are like amazing how cool they quit. Yeah, or yeah. how quick they cool. Yeah. That makes it feel better. At least it ran out of fuel. <laughs> It felt like it ran out of fuel there when it happened. There has to be a reason. <laughs> there has to be a reason. Yeah, that's awesome. But she's close, there. man. We're getting there. Yeah, she's close. She's freaking close. And like that hasn't been cleaned in like six years. I did pressure wash it a little bit. Did you? Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did you bring the electric one to the shop? No, I went to the car wash mostly. Oh, did you? Just a, well, just like a rinse off. I didn't yeah. brush it or anything. Amazing. Amazing. We're getting there. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, like, back from number one and then yeah. a couple things. Probably and like a week after that. Definitely get the training figured out soon. As quick as possible so you can at least drive it. Nice. We're going to do a little bit of a sitter here. We threw a belt, <laughs> so we're gonna have to go and find it. I'm like, hmm, steering's getting a little hard. So I knew it was gonna blow the belt, so I did a burnout close to where we needed to be because I knew it was gonna do something. So right now we're trying to find this belt. Because <laughs> right, be right before she was like, all I know is that when anything goes wrong, it's a serpentine belt. And like moments later after the burnout, boom. <laughs> Hopefully we can find it, and save some money, because that's like twenty dollars. Around here? No, it was before the houses. You can never do a burnout so in front well. of the houses. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the main key. <laughs> Don't oh. do it in front of people. Do it. Do it in a spot where it's a little bit more discreet. Before the houses. <laughs> then rip by them. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I just seen it. Oh, there's that. There's the marks. Squiggle. Okay, we'll turn around. That was easy to find. Tight. Oh, there's a car coming. We'll wait till he goes by. You can turn right. Yep. Yeah. Hello, Moors. Don't put that in either. <laughs> Love you. And it's funny because you can see our burnout marks and then it's right there. Yeah, it's like immediately after a belt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tire marks. Okay. You know, like, oh, hold up, hold up. No, I think you can see. Oh. It's kind of gross here, actually, to be honest. Making fun of me? Okay, here we go. So there's the burnout. I did some lefties and righties. And then... Right at the end, <laughs> you can see the belt just chilling right there. Oh, well, that's too good. We found her <laughs> in the rearview mirror, is just marks. Well, there she is, inside out. Looks okay ish. I knew we'd find it. Oh, those look good. When it, when I drop the clutch, it's aggressive. The whole car's like, Bruh! it's like. I was holding on for my life. <laughs> oh, it's an interesting car, that's for sure. Old vehicles. Old vehicles. Des is taking it out for a spin. <laughs> <laughs> 